Hey, do you want some donuts? Of course, why not? If you can choose for yourself, which one do you prefer choose for yourself? Um, I think I'll pick the bigger one. The bigger one? Yes. Actually, these donuts are the same size. Really? Yes, this is called Gastro Illusion. Hello everyone, what do you think about illusion? Have you heard about the gesture of illusion? Well, let's break it down. Illusion is a simple word but with deep meaning. In psychology, illusion are often used to assess human perception, but in our research, the gesture of illusion became our key innovation. With this illusion, three objects of the same size appear different, and we transform this into a tool to measure students' eating pattern. This is important because eating habits are not only about physical health, but also about memory and concentration. And for students who memorize the Quran, these two abilities are essential. In Surah al Araf, verse 31, Allah reminds us about overeating. This ayah highlights the principle of balance, especially in eating. Interestingly, a study by parents and colleagues in 2021, the title of reading and memory, showed that overeating, especially food high in sugar and fat, can weaken the hippocampus, the part of the brain that controls memory. So, that's why we designed this research, to see whether eating patterns measured through the gesture evolution have a real impact on Quran memorization ability. Hey, do you know something? What? At Aroma Boga, students are encouraged to memorize the Quran, and this requires focus, strong memory, and consistency. And of course, not every student has the same ability. And one factor that may play a role is their eating habits. That's what inspires us to carry out this research, to see whether their eating patterns really do affect Quran memorization or not. But we use something different. What is that? Like the just religion inside an RPG Maker MV game. And for the methodology, we use the RPG Maker MV and the respondents participate in an interactive game. And the respondents are take food portion across 10 trials using the gesture illusion. There are three options. Option 1, that earns free points. Option 2, earns standard points. And the option 3, earns the higher points. The higher score, they more exercise the eating patterns. After that, the selected data is complete into a comprehensive metric called the eating score, and we analyze the data from eating and memorization score. From the results, the gesture-based game proved to be valid and reliable as measurement tool. The analysis showed that the average eating score was 20.27, while the average Quran memorization score was 74.77. The correlation test revealed a clear negative relationship between eating pattern and Quran memorization with a correlation value of minus 0.348. This means students who tend to choose larger portion generally scored lower in memorization, while those with more balanced eating habits achieve better results. In other words, overeating doesn't only affect the body, but also weakens memory and concentration, which are vital for memorizing the Quran. This study brings several benefits. For school, it can be recommended to encourage healthy and blindness, especially to support taxis programs. For students, it will awareness that eating in moderation actually helps their focus and memory. And for researchers, it offers a fresh way of collecting data using visual illusion and gamified tools. Here's a quick look at the project. In the RPG Macro MV game, students are shown pairs of food images arranged with a gesture illusion. They pick which portion looks bigger or smaller. In the after 10 rounds, the game calculates a score. It's simple, interactive, and keeps students engaged, while still giving meaningful data for research. So to wrap up, this research shows that eating parents do influence Quran the memorization ability. By keeping a balanced eating ha habit, we not only maintain good physical health, but also strengthen our memory and our spiritual growth. May this remind us all to practice moderation as guided by the Quran and supported by the science. Thank you! From the